Okay, guys, can you help me? What we completed in our session? Anyone? What we completed in our session? Hello. Yeah, hi. Can anyone help me? What topic we completed? Uh, last week we spoke about the, the virtual uh, interfaces. Okay, basic stuff we completed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let we talked about the. Let me give my message in group, okay? 14, Okay, let's start our topic. Okay, everyone. Uh, Prashad, Khalil, can yeah, you? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm recording. A, I'm recording this session, and uh, after this session, I will send it to you. This recording. I hope I shared with you as uh, day one day one video, right? Yeah. Day one video. Okay, great. So let's let's start our discussion. The topic is what. Uh, we completed our, our basic stuff like uh, backup, pre-store, interface configuration, and all, and all that. Now we are going to focus the next topic, which is called connectivity part. You can say routing concept. So let me open a text file. So we completed this uh, day one topic, which is, which is called introduction and in initial configuration topic. Now let's move on the routing concept because we want to send a traffic from one network to another network on 48 firewall. I'm not discussing the storyline. What is static routing? What is dynamic routing? I know I'm configuring directly. Okay. So before 48 firewall configuration, let's configure first routers. So you can see uh, I'm using two routers. This one, this portion is my LAN portion. Okay, and this portion is acting as a my band portion. So yes, let's start the configuration first. So interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address. I'm using what 200, 200, 200. Then because 200, 201, I will configure on 48 firewall port number two. You can see my topology, and you can also create loopback if you want for traffic. Now show IP interface brief. Yes, you have these interfaces. Now let's move on R2 outside route. IP address 10.1.3.10. Dot 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 
because 10.1.1.23.1 dot 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 I will configure on port number three. Now loop back. Let's create loop back here. 2.2.2, 2.5.5, 2.5.5. Now show IP interface brief. Done. Now let's move on. Your 40 gig firewall. So let's go to port number three. IP address and and this all the stuff. So let me configure first port number one because port number one we can use as a management port. So config system interface, edit port number one, set mode static, set IP address 192.168.255.186/24, set allows HTTP, HTTPS ping, SSH. Then now end. Now you can go on your graphical option. So I'm using a Mozilla Firefox browser. You can use any browser, 192.168. What is 186? Username is admin, password is 123. Okay, please wait two minutes. I'm configuring basic stuff, IP address configuration, port number two, okay, and port number three. So in network interface tab, you can get interface tab for interface configuration. Port number two, yes. Description I'm using for port number two is what? LAN. IP address I'm using what? 200 or 200 or 200.1 slash 24. Ping service, you can click on OK. You can go and move on next port, port number three. Wait, it's working soon. What Two minutes, guys. Interface. Okay, it's configured now. Thank God. Port number three, edit. So it's a WAN port. IP address I'm using 10.1.23.1 as per our requirement. Ping service. Now, you can verify from your 40 gate firewall connectivity part. So let me check the show show system interface. So what we configured, we configured right now only one interface, port number two. And port number three, I wait, it's working. I don't know why it's working very slow. Please wait, guys, two minutes. <laughs>
network interface please wait i don't know why it's working with slow two minute please hello can you hear me prashad khalil yeah no problem wait guys two minute what happened with this firewall add new one and Hello, Sandeep. Can you hear me? Sandeep, can you hear me, dear? firewall will take time so let me configure the router first uh sadeep we are doing today routing on port gate firewall so that's why i'm using this topology sadeep okay you are late that's that's why i'm telling you we are using we are we are doing lab for routing stuff Okay. 
Okay, can you hear me, everyone? Uh, Khalil, Prashad, Sandeep. Yes, sir. So what we configure? Yes. We configure yes, basic sir. show. We can verify interface information, show system interface. So you have right now three interfaces you configure. Port number one you are using as a management port. And this is a port number two. This is a port number three. So yes, we configured IP address information. Now, now, if you are trying to ping, direct, direct connectivity, I can say. So I'm on 40 gate power I'm trying to ping my directly connected interface and directly connected interface. And guys, I'm using loopback on both routers. So one dot, one dot, one, and here, two dot, two dot, two, slash 32. Now, 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 execute ping 200, 200, 210. So router, router side IP address, directly connected, directly connected interface, execute ping 10 dot, one dot, 23 dot 10. I can ping. If I'm trying to ping what? Execute ping. If I'm trying to ping uh, two dot two dot two dot two, then from firewall, I cannot because I don't have any information in my routing table. How to check routing table? Get router info routing table all. This is the command. Okay, just like a show IP route in Cisco. So get router info routing table all. This is for routing table information. You can press enter. Right now you have only directly connected interfaces information. You don't have any routing information. So let's focus on routing. Uh, in, if you talk about routing option, so in routing from CCNA routing and switching or CCNP routing and switching or CCI routing and switching, you know that we have static default and dynamic routing option. In dynamic routing, we have RIP, here GRP, OSPF, BGP, right? These options. We can configure all these options on uh, your coding gate firewall. Yes, you can. The point is, you can go on your router first because we are going to focus first on, first on static and default routing. So we can do static and default routing first. After that, we can go for dynamic routing. Okay, everyone. Clear? Okay. Clear, guys. What we are going to configure here? Abhilash, Prashad, Khalid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Clear. Sandeep. Okay. So the point is, see, static routing. See, yes. I can do, uh, see, from routers towards my firewall, what I will do? I will do default routing. From routers towards my firewall, I will do default routing because our focus is on how to configure static or default routing on 48 firewall. I'm not configuring on router static routing like this network, mask, next open tree, this network, mask, next, no. I'm doing default routing towards my firewall. So default routing command syntax, you know that from routing and switching concept, IP route, any network with any mask, 200, 200, 200.1. I can do default routing from outside router also. So towards my firewall, I'm using default routing. 10.1.23.1. Dot, 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 Done. Now, 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 let's start configuration from 48 firewall. So you can go with graphical page. Here's the option. If you talk about routing option, so yes, you have static route 
and you can get these options. These are what? These are called advanced routing options. Right now, you are getting the, these options. Why? Because if you go and click on system feature visibility option, so advanced routing core feature is enabled. That's why you are getting all the dynamic routing information. If, if it is disabled, I can show you the option. If it is disabled, and if you again click on network, you can see you have only these options. You don't have any information about dynamic routing. Clear, guys? Okay. So if you want to do advanced routing, so you need to enable this advanced routing option. You can click on apply. Once you click on apply, you can get all the information. You can click on network and see now RIP, OSPF, BGP, multicasting. Yes, you can do. Let's focus on first static routing. You can click on static route. And here you, can, you need to create entry for static and default routing. This is the page. You can click on create new. If you click on create new, it will give you this prompt. And on this prompt, you can configure static and default routing. But right now, right now, this is the option for only IP version for static and default routing option. For example, if I'm working with IP version six, then so yes, yes, you need to click on system. You need to click on feature visibility and you need to enable from on core feature, you need to enable IP version six. You can click on apply. This time, if you are verifying again on network tab, static route, if you click here, you can get both options. IP version four static routing, IP version six static routing. So right now our focus is on IP version four static routing, but sure, I will tell you how to configure IP version six static route. So let's focus first on IP version four. You can click here. Now you can get two options. First option is what? Submit. Submit means what? I can define my destination network. Okay, I have one more option, internet service. I will tell you later, but right now focus on submit first. So what I'm here, I'm here on this 48 firewall. I want to learn two method in routing, static and default. So what towards my inside network, I will configure static routing what's my outside network i will configure default route so yes i will configure both static and default for inside static for outside default so static i need to go on 48 firewall my destination network is 1.1.1.1/32 gateway is what 200 200 210 and port and now here is the option for administrative distance so remember in cisco technology if you talk about static and uh, default routing administrative distance value, so it's a one. But in 48 firewall, it's 10. If you want to change, you can change, no problem. But there is an option for administrative distance. You can click on OK. So this is your first entry. In this entry, you can verify here destination, gateway IP, interface, status, and distance. Now, now, let's go on your firewall again, uh, on your option again. IP version 4 static route. Destination is now what? I'm here. I'm doing the I'm, I'm what I'm configuring. I'm, com I'm configuring default routing towards my ISP. R2 is acting as an ISP site. So any network, any mask. Next hope is what? 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 to 3 dot, 10. Okay, interface is this. You can click on OK. This is the option. If you want to verify your routing table information through CLI, yes, you can see. Command is what? Get router info routing table on. See, you have a you have a start static routing towards your port number two. You have a default routing towards your port number three. S asterisk asterisk means what? Candidate default. If you are trying, if you have a rule in your routing table, if you are trying to ping 1.1.1, one dot, one dot, one, sorry, execute ping 1.1.1, one dot, one dot, one, you can ping. If you are trying to ping what execute ping 2.2.2 two dot, two dot, two. now, see, you are getting reply because you have information in your routing table. That's why you are getting reply, right, guys? Yeah. Abhilash, Khalil, Prashad, Sandeep. Yeah 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 okay now the yeah. next, next option is what see if i have one more cable then like 
Uh, I'm talking about primary and secondary option then. If I'm connected with two of two cable, first one is primary cable, or you can say primary, and second one is my this one is my acting as a secondary. Secondary cable. And let me configure IP address here. N dot one dot. 2.0 okay now let's configure ip address first on your router wait guys 0 slash 1 ip address 10.1.32.10 mask no shutdown that's it and uh, let's configure interface on 48 power port number four two minute port number four when when two ip address is what 10.1.32.1 slash 24 ping okay so what I'm doing, I'm configuring one more route towards my uh, secondary route. So what I configure, I configure only this one. How this route, this route, port number three side route, can act as a can act as a primary, and uh, uh, this one ten dot one dot thirty two dot zero will act as a secondary. How? Uh, what I can do, I need to go on. I need to configure one more default routing. Okay, for the gateway is ten dot one dot thirty two dot ten. And what remember administrative distance value, least value more before. So on one side, I'm using 10. Here I'm using what 20. You can click on OK. So to what? For unknown destination, I have two routes. First is what 23.2 via port number 3. AD value is what 10. Second, what? Same unknown destination. Next hope is 32.2. Exit interface and AD value is 20. Now let's verify what what we have in our routing table first. So if you verify your routing table information, what get router info routing table all, you can see you have only one route that is installed in your routing table. See, so you are going what this the primary route is installed in your routing table. See, AD value is 10, 23.10. 32.20 is not installed in your in your 48 firewall. Why? Wait, wait, wait. Let me verify one more option. Here you can type database. Database command. In database command, just like a you know uh, in in dynamic routing, uh, show IP, EIGRP topology. You can say, okay, you can get best route and all possible route information. So you can see here what. 23.2 is available in your database information, 32.10, port number four. But what the best route is stored is this side. This is greater than symbol is what is going to tell you it's a selected route. So you can see the information. You have both route to reach any unknown destination. Unknown destination, you have both option. But in your routing table, which one is stored? A, a route which have which have what? Least AD value because this side 10, the side 20. So 10 is installed in your routing table. You can verify again this time. Is that clear for the concept? The primary secondary option. Now let's move on the next option. You can go on graphical page and uh, see. If you define anything like if you select this option, edit. So what there is an advanced option here. If you click on advanced, you can get a priority value. What is meaning of priority value? If I will use what AD value, if I have AD value, same AD value on both sides, then what will happen? If I have uh, same AD value on both sides, then what will happen? The both both route will install in the routing table. And they will do load balancing, right? If I want to use priority, so what? 
on one side i will use priority value 5 and other side i will use priority value 10 so least value will more preferred understood so if there is a tie in between administrative distance least priority value will more preferred understood the concept of priority value guys uh, abhilash khalil prashad sandeep Yes, sir. Yes. Now the, the point is, see, you can again go on your graphical page. This is the option. Point is, uh, if you click here, I give you for static routing. I told you you can get two options: subnet and internet service. In subnet, you can define your destination network and uh, gateway information, exit interface. That's it. But you have one more option: internet database. In your forty-eight firewall, you have internet services database here. Big database. See. If you click this side, you can get all the data, internet services database. See, like for example, I want to define Amazon. So if anyone want to go Amazon web, so gateway I want to provide ten dot one dot thirty two dot ten. Understood, guys? The concept here for particular destination for particular internet services. Okay, I I can define what exit interface next hop IP address. so i have both option either i can define the subnet either i can define the internet services like i want to allow uh, amazon web log like, uh, for example or i want to allow facebook web so yes i have facebook web. single inform sorry it's not as it is sorry facebook web this one you can click on okay you can get this information is what If anyone trying to go Facebook web, this is the next hope. This is the exit interface. Is that clear, guys? Internet services. This is for IP version four static routing. But you can also configure IP version six. You can click here IP version six static routing. You can define your destination network. For example, I'm using uh, IP address for example two. Thousand one, call it ten, call it one, call it twelve, call it call it zero slash sixty four. Gateway, I'm telling what two thousand one, call it ten, call it one, call it forty five, call it call it one. And interface, interface, I'm using the, I'm using any interface as an example, okay guys. So WAN port number two, you can click on okay. That's it. Like this, you can configure your IP version six static routing, default routing. Yes, any network, any mask. This is a symbol for any network and any mask. And the gateway you can define here: two thousand one colon ten colon one colon fifty six colon colon one slash sixty four. And you can define your exit interface. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, gateway information. Now you can define your exit interface port number WAN port two. You can click on OK. Done. So like this, you can configure static and default routing in IP version four, in IP version six. Is that clear, guys? Abhilash, Khalil, Prashant, Sandeep. Can we move? Yeah, yeah. Next option yeah. is what? Yeah. Next option is what? We can go for what? Advanced routing option like RIP. Guys, I told you, I am not telling the story. What is RIP? routing information protocol okay no i am not, not telling any story line i am i'm telling what how to configure it so remember rip information in rip you have two version version one number one version number two and you can also define the network information right okay like version two i am using network i am defining what for example 200 or you can say 1.1.1.1 network you can attach or you are right now On your firewall, you have three interfaces: port number two, port number three, port number four. So I am giving an idea only. Okay, ten dot one dot twenty three dot zero slash twenty four. One more network: two hundred, two hundred, two hundred dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, one more network: ten dot one dot twenty three dot thirty two dot zero. Done. If you click on interfaces, yeah.
Hello, can you hear me, guys? Now, if you click on interface, what you can get multiple options. Like uh, if you can select this interface, remember in RIP we we have an option for passive interface, RIP authentication, guys. This is routing switching topic. Abhilash, Khalil, yeah, Sandeep, yeah. Prashad. Uh, okay, now, so this is the option to configure these passive interface authentication and all that. You can also configure OSPF. I'm giving only idea. I told you, I'm giving you idea how to configure it. What is OSPF? No, I'm not discussing what is OSPF. It's a routing switching talk. So remember in OSPF, we have a concept of router ID because in OSPF, if you want to if, if two routers, they want to exchange the information, they require router ID. If you have of the router ID, they can exchange the information with each other. So yes, you can define router ID information here. Areas, yes, areas, you can define area like area, 10 okay or you can give a name area id 10 area id and wait you can define here what area id with area id you can define what a regular area or nssa area or stub area you can also use for the you can also use authentication option like rip version 2 in OSPF, you can configure authentication like MD5 authentication, plain text authentication. Next option you have what network you can add network information. What network you want to add? Interfaces, yes. You have same option like if you want to change cost of any interfaces, authentication, you want to configure interface, you want to change hello timer, dead timer in OSPF, you can change from here. Same, you can configure BGP. If you know about the BGP, remember BGP always work with AS number. AS number, you can define neighbor detail and AS number in BGP. So border gate your protocol, you can configure on your 40 gate file, okay? This is the option for routing guys. Any problem? This is the option for routing. Can you hear me, everyone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we can move on to the next one, which is called what? Which is called, this is the routing option. Now we can go for a NAT, but we are not starting NAT first. Okay, we are first discussing firewall policy. Because once you understand parallel policy, so then after that, you can go and start NAT option. Because in NAT, we have two types of NAT, parallel policy NAT and central NAT. So in parallel policy NAT, you need to learn first what is parallel policy. Okay. So parallel policy is the first uh, next topic. Let's discuss here. What is the use of parallel policy, guys? See, we configured a rule here. I can show you. If you verify your routing table as per your topology on your router, show IP route, you have a default routing towards your firewall and you have also a default routing towards your firewall, I can show you. But if you are trying to ping, like I'm, I'm trying to ping from uh, R1 2.2.2 with source 1.1.1 or you can say I'm trying to ping 2.2.2. If I'm trying to ping, put out, I have root, but I cannot ping. See, uh, 40 gate firewall is not a zone based firewall, okay? Like on Palo Alto, uh, they are working in a different zone. No, Palo Alto is not, uh, sorry, in 40 gate firewall is not a zone based firewall. If you want to send a traffic from one network to another network, you need to configure firewall policy, okay? Firewall policy option, just like ACL. In Palo Alto firewall, it's known as what? Security policy. In checkpoints called what access control policy, same option. Only configuration method is different. See, if you click here, if you click on policy and object, here's the option for IP version for policy. If you click here, so by default, you can see 
you have a default rule. See, default rule. Let's call what implicit denial. What is exactly uh, this is the name implicit denial? What is exactly in implicit denial? Any source, any destination, any schedule, any services, action is what denied. And see, someone hit this rule, that's why the information is available. Someone hit why because we tried to ping, but we get, didn't get any reply because we don't have any policy and because of. My default policy, 48 forward default policy, no one can communicate from any source to any destination. So this is the default policy, guys. If I want to create my own to allow traffic, you can click on create new. Okay, and this is the tab for to configure your policy. So try to focus on to how to create it. It's a very simple task. There's an option new policy. You can define the name of this policy. Like for example, I'm using a name, rule one, just a name, just a name. Now incoming interface is what? So my, so my in, incoming interface is what? LAN. So traffic is coming from LAN is going to hit on port number two. So incoming interface is LAN and outgoing interface is WAN. So first I need to define incoming interface, then outgoing interface, then from incoming interface, which source? See, if you click here, so for source, you can get multiple tab here, address, user, internet services, you can get multiple option here. Like for example, if I want to discuss address, so see, we have some predefined address object here. This is called what? Address object. Remember always your 48 firewall is a object oriented firewall. So these are the predefined objects, okay? We can create our, as per our requirement, okay, objects. We can create object as per our requirement, but right now, right now, right now, if I will select this all, it means what? Any, any source. But if I want to specify a particular person, so yes, there is, here is an option in address, here is an option for add. If you click here, add, here's an option for address object. If you click on address object, this is the option for address. So address option is selected. You can give a name like LAN user. If you select, if you define a name LAN user, so in type, you can get multiple option. So yes, for source object address, you can get multiple or type information here. Like what? I want to create an object, subnet object. Like for example, complete network. Like 200, 200, 200 slash 24 you can click on okay this is your land user if you select this option it means what what is exactly in land user this network this network if you click again on add option add address the next option is what range like for example i want to create a policy for my specific group of ip address like in my LAN. In my LAN, I have what a switch and multiple computers. I have here we have 200, 200, 200, uh, uh, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So, I want to configure some policy for 15, 16, 17, and 18. Then I can, I can what I can define the range. So, for example, sales users range is what. 200.200.200.15 to 200.200.200.18. You can click on OK. So this is your another ob address object. If you select, done. Is that clear, guys? Yes, clear. OK, now the next option is what C. I can again click on add address and what subnet and ip range we did now fqdn so we are not discussing fqdn it's a fully qualified domain name but we can discuss geography geography is what you can define your geographical location but right now right now what we are discussing about the source so in my land source is is not geographical location okay i can use this ge geography as a destination but I am I'm telling you the option geography. If you select geography, so you can give you can get the information here. You have all the country information. 
which country you want to block or allow. For example, I want to allow or block China. So China, I can select. Okay, what I want to what I want to uh, take action. It's a, it's a it's a different matter. Right now, I'm specifying. So if any IP address is coming from China, okay, it's up to you. It's, you want to block, you want to allow, you want to inspect, up to you. So you can create address object as a geographical. Next option is what? Dynamic. So dynamic is related with fabric character address. We are not discussing this option, but yes, we can discuss this option also. This option, what? MAC address. What is MAC address option? I can I can create a specific MAC address. I can create an object for a specific MAC address. It means what? I want to create a policy for a specific MAC address. No, I, I'm not discussing about IP address. Here you can define your MAC address. If you want to select a range for your address object group, what you can you can define start, start, and and in MAC address. Clear? You can create address object for which address object for uh, subject IP range geographic question what device map address is that clear guys is it clear guys everyone yeah yeah yes okay. now. Let's discuss. See, right now I'm, I'm I'm not using any option here. I'm using all. Okay, for because we are we are using as a demo. Okay, this policy. I'm creating this policy as a demo, so that's why I'm using any anyone from the land. So yes, anyone. Now uh, uh, let me discuss one more thing. See, in address object I can attach what all, but we have one more option user tab. So from source I can also specify this user I want to allow. Or deny. So user, if you click user, you can click on add. You can click on users. If you don't have users, you can create. So for example, right now, we don't have any remote authentication server in our topology. That's why I'm creating a user account in my Fortigate Firewall local database. So here I'm using this option, local user. It's a local user. Local, The user is in a, my local database. But if you have a remote authentication server in your organization, like for example, a TechX server, Radius server, LDAP server, so yes, you can select the option like Radius. You can click on next. If right now we don't have any remote authentication server, I'm, I'm selecting what I'm creating user account in my local database. You can click on next username, for example, user number five, password one, two, three, you can click on next. Click on next, you can click on submit. So yes, you can attach a user. See, the point is, point is, if you select directly a user account, you will get a message here. What? Minimum one address or address group or external resources or internet services required. Okay. So if you want to allow only, only a specific user, so you need to add minimum one address because user will Visual will try uh, try to communicate outside from uh, a specific IP address. So that's why you need to add minimum. So that's why I'm using all. So from anyone, user five. I'm not using, I'm using this as an example. So like this, you can create user accounts. You can attach a user account as, a, as your source. You can get, uh, you can discuss internet service. I'm not discussing internet service right now. Why? Because the traffic is coming from my LAN. So it is Alibaba, Amazon, they are not in my land. Okay, they are outside. They are on outside. So that's why I'm only using these options. All sources, all. Is that clear about source, guys? Mr. Vilash, Khalil, Prashad, Sandeep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, now the point is, point is, we can also discuss destination. Destination, if you click destination, see, there's a difference. If you click on source, you can get three options. If you click on destination, you can get only two options. So in destination, in destination, you can define your address, like any address, or you can define your internet service, what internet service you want to allow. Destination, big database you have in your 48 firewall. Only you need to attach it. 
you have one one thousand three hundred sixty one internet service entry in your forty eight per one. Right now, right now, okay. We didn't update, okay. It's a VM box. If you updated, if you have updated firewall, so maybe the uh, what the internet service database is increased. But right now, this is the internet service database. Right now, I'm using for destination. Now, one more option is schedule. What schedule is what? When I want to use this rule, like I want to use this rule Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. only. So yes, by default, it's selected with always. Always is what? Always means what? Any time. In time, any Saturday, Sunday, Monday, any time. But if you want to create your own, you can click here. You can click on create. Okay, one time schedule. There is a two option. What? One time or recurring. If you select one time, it means what? You can define here start date, end date. Okay, start and end date, and pre-expiration event log. So if you define your end date information, and if this a schedule is going to what expire so i want a log before three days it means what number of days before so one time in one time you can only define start and end date but if you click on recurring option in recurring you can what define name you can define days also monday tuesday wednesday only this time to this time i can define the schedule but right now i'm using what always service what service you want to allow if you click here so what you can get services information see services information all icmp see we have a category like general uh, services web access services file access services email services network services <coughs> okay so for example i'm using all but yes as per your requirement you can attach your services what service you want to allow so all right now all okay any services now here is the action what uh, accept or deny so if you select accept so you can get a lots of option here if you select deny so what it will check what source source destination into incoming outgoing schedule and deny that's it now but if you select what accept then what will happen if you select accept so you can get a tab here inspection mode so in your policy you have two inspection mode policy based and what proxy based what is the difference between policy based inspection mode and proxy based inspection mode in fortigate firewall let me open a slide Guys, I'm giving you uh, two to three minutes. Please read this information. The difference between flow-based and proxy-based inspection mode. Guys, can you hear me? Abhilash, Khalil? Yes. Please yes. read very carefully, okay? Then we can discuss.
हेलो अभिलाष प्रसाद अभिलाष प्रसाद खलील इज दैट व्हाट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्लो बेस एंड प्रॉक्सी मोड यस ओके सो व्हाट वी कैन डू सी इन पॉलिसी इन आईपी वर्जन 4 पॉलिसी व्हाट we can define the <laughs> interface outgoing interface source destination schedule services action and what inspection mode and after that what we can do we can click on click on okay if you click on okay it means what you can see your you can see your policy guys see you can see your policy rule number 1 it's just a name source is all destination is any it's all is means what it's any any source any destination any schedule any services action is what accept it means what if you are trying to ping from this time this time see guys we are getting reply prashad abhilash yes kareel this time you are yes. getting reply why you are getting reply because you have a rule yes hey you have a rule guys that's why see guys i have another batch okay so we can discuss again firewall policy option tomorrow okay guys this topic we can discuss again firewall policy okay everyone okay so i will send this recording after this session so let's connect tomorrow same time 7:30 pm ist kaleel prashad yes abhilash bye bye guys take care bye thank you bye dear bye dear thank you bye